Hi, we will learn the deep learning training with easy to understand example and have a very simple practice with TensorFlow 2. Let's get it started. What is training? Conceptually, training is developing oneself to a specific topic. Let's have a very adorable example in the next slide. We want to train our baby to speak milk when we show the milk. You can see the baby say mama when we show the milk now because mama is the only word she can speak now. Let's train her. We teach her that this is a milk. Baby will think and try to make a similar sound to milk next time. Let's show the milk again. Baby made a similar sound monk this time. We train baby again by saying hey baby this is a milk. Baby rethink and try to make the right sound next time. And we show the milk again. Now the baby can say milk. Great. If the baby were the deep learning model, the back propagation is the process of which we give the answer to the baby and the baby change her sound similar to the answer. Here the key takeaway is the training is the iterative process of forward propagation and the back propagation until the deep learning model has minimum error or until the training is done. And the forward propagation is the, propa uh, is the process of which we show the milk and the baby speaks. In this video, we will train a node which can answer OR operation. OR operation is very simple as you can see from this table. When the input is 0, 0, the answer is 0, but the other input is supposed to be the 1 here. And here is our node. Just like the baby initially speak mama, the node also has initial random variable for weight and the bias. I assigned one for each as you can see from this diagram. And you can see the right side which is a forward propagation result for four inputs for the OR operation. There is one wrong answer. Node supposed to say 0 for the input 0, 0, but it said 1. So the node need to do the back propagation. Node will update the variables which is weight and the bias by reducing loss which is difference between the answer and its output. As you can see from this diagram, the node now have 2 and 0.5 as weight and minus 1 for bias after the back propagation. After back propagation, we do forward propagation with newly updated variable. You see there is an error on the second input this time. Well, so the node will reduce this error during the back propagation and will update each variable again. And finally, you can see the forward propagation doesn't have error, so the train can stop now. You can easily implement this in the TensorFlow 2. Here is a code snippet where we initialize random values for the weight and bias and train. Train is basically the forward propagation and the back propagation, and the back propagation updates weight and bias by minimizing loss using gradient descent. Wait, what is loss and gradient descent? Well, firstly, the loss is the difference between the answer and the deep learning model's prediction. In this example, you can see the answer and the prediction is different, so this is loss. And if answer and prediction is equal, then you can say there is no loss in this data. One of famous loss function is mean square error, which I used in this TensorFlow to practice. It is just mean value of the squared distance between the answer and prediction. And it is just one liner in TensorFlow 2. And the gradient descent is the way to minimize loss. Here is a visualization how the gradient descent is working. Our objective is to have the least loss during training, which is the bottom of this ball shape. Gradient descent is a way to find the variable which results the minimum loss. Let's look at initial value loss here. It is very high and each gradient slope which is blue line is negative. So we move the variables to the positive side. When we move, we adjust the amount of moving by multiplying learning rate. On the next one, we see the slope is less negative, so we move the variable to the positive side a little bit less than the previous steps. 
and here we see the now this uh, variable is on the right side and the slope is uh, positive here so we move the weights and bias to the negative side at this time and hooray we are at the bottom side here the slope is just like zero so we stop training at this moment so this weight and bias is the optimum value for our deep learning model okay so let's practice with tensorflow code you can see the code location in here in the collab so you go there and can practice from this collab so I will just run everything and you can see this is end operation I'm running um, 10k epochs here you see the loss is going down and at the end I'm testing the four inputs here 0, 0,0 is less than 0.5 here but the 1.1 is greater than 0.5 and here's the OR operation same thing you can see the loss is going down and every test result is successful in here finally you can see the weight is uh, 1.88 1.88 here and the bias value is minus 0.5 here and if you see that the node code snippet here uh, just like the baby is saying mama uh, I just gave the random variable to this deep learning model and here the prediction is just for the propagation we just multiply input to our weight variable and add our bias value and finally we put this one into the sigmoid uh, the output is the sigmoid output here loss function is a uh, mean square as you can see in here and the training uh, I have the 10k epochs here using the tf gradient tape I get the loss function and uh, uh, after the gradient descent I just assign to the new wave value and the new bias value uh, this assign sub is nothing but on the old wave value we just uh, subtract this learning rate uh, times a uh, derivative of the weight in here and you can see the learning rate I gave the 0.1 in this code okay thanks for watching and uh, I wish this video helps you to understand the training I will see you on the next video thank you